everybody, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Last plan with me for the week. This is in my weekly, my sweet kawaii design, kind of catch-all planner that I have put up in my kitchen where I can look at all the things we're doing for the week. For example, here's this week, things that are going on. And it's just sort of a, who's picking the kids up? You know, what are the different appointments we have? What music lessons do the kids have? You know, stuff like that. So I don't usually do a plan with me for this one. It usually takes me, this planner probably takes me the longest of all the planners I do, but I should be able to speed up a bunch of different parts of it. So I don't think the video will be crazy long. Um, I decided I'm going to use the March Sweet Kawaii Design Kit. So this is the monthly subscription kit. Now, the great thing about this monthly kit is it also comes to the shop. So if you love it, you can still get it. You just don't get these extras like the um, this first deco page. And then there was a um, jumbo sticker that came with it. Uh, you don't get those things, but you get all of these pages in the kit. It's such a great way to have lots and lots of stickers to choose from. You can use tons and tons, or you can spread it out and it lasts you the whole month. It's kind of up to you. So we have these different pages of washi, date covers, full boxes. Look at that double box, so cute. Weekend banners, quarter boxes, icons plus deco, other full boxes. I love these, these kind of, they're full box with like a quarter box size thing to write in. I like that. Half boxes, really cute checklists. How cute are these ones with the shamrock on the top and then the little kind of flag with the hearts? I think that's really cute. And then more full boxes and these schedule boxes. Headers this week and then the deco, which I like. I really like these faux washi strips down here. I think that's really fun. So I decided I'm going to use that this month or this week, mostly because I love to try to use it the first week of the month because of the Hello March. Honestly, you could really use Hello March at any point you want during the um, during the month, but I just like using it at the beginning. Okay, I also pulled this little mini washi. This is from Cricut Paper Co. It was part of the um, Cricut Miss, the advent that she does um over the holidays so that was really fun it's rainbow why not throw a little rainbow in there a little sparkly rainbow i thought that would be fun so i have that and i've kind of done that the past few weeks i'm really liking the way it looks just to add a little bit of kind of sparkle to it i guess not the past few weeks just last week so i think um that's what i'll do and so i kind of just put this on here right below the little lines here line it up and then just spread it across. And this is a little bit of a darker color rainbow than the kit is, which will make it stand out a little bit. I think it'll make it pop, but I think it's close enough also that it won't, you know, look out of place. I guess if I disagree with that, when I put everything on, I can change it out somehow. Although, gosh, I think that'd probably be kind of hard after I put everything on. We shall see. Okay. Um, another thing I do for this planner specifically is I pre-plan. So I used to not do that. I used to just, you know, put the stickers on, whatever stickers I had and wherever they went on the kit to color block and then fit everything in. But then I started to have like not so much stuff on one day and a lot of stuff on another day. So I didn't like that. So I started pre-planning um, and just kind of looking at what does my week look at ahead of time. And this is what that looks like. Total chicken scratch just on these planning pads from Sweet Kawaii Design. Uh, I find them really handy to lay it out. And then actually I give this to my husband. So he has his own work planner. It's super boring, just like pencil. He gets the same one every year. I don't know. Anywho, so <laughs> for us planner people, I'm like, come on, like have a little pizzazz, try something new. And he's like, why would I? I've used the same one for 15 years. I have a stack in my office of the same one. Why would I change it? Anyway, so I just, I put this on his desk in the garage where he kind of has his computer and stuff and he, that way he can glance at it for the week. He doesn't necessarily put a ton of it in his own planner, but if he wants to remind himself of when stuff is, because 
I'm the one who has everything in my brain and in my planners. And then he's like, wait, what's happening that day? So this doesn't just go to waste for pre, pre for blah, 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 for pre-planning. He um, actually will use it during the week as well and then toss it at the end of the week. Okay, so now I need to decide. Oh, you know what? I put that, uh, I put that too low. It needed to go higher, you guys. Darn it. I wonder if I can get it to restick. Because the washi is not, the washi, the sticker washi, does not have enough room if I put that there. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? I've used this planner so much because it's the same design as last year. So it's not like it's different. Talking too much, that's my problem. All right, there we go. I cannot believe it is already Sunday. As you know, if you've been watching my videos, I've had this week off from work. It's the midwinter break in my school district. They used to call it ski week. Um, but that was determined that that's kind of, I guess, an elitist way of, of referring to this week because not everybody obviously can afford to go skiing. Um, so it's midwinter break, which is great. And uh, it's been really, really nice to have the week off. Okay, what color do I want? I've got this kind of um, more bluey green, I guess. I don't know. And this sort of reddy orange and then yellow and more of a, just sort of a light yellowy green. Hmm, what do I think would look best under that? I'm kind of liking this green. I think I'm gonna go with that. I think all the colors are really neat in this kit. I like um, that they're just super light and pastel. They're not the traditional, you know, Kelly green that we often associate with St. Patrick's Day. Um, definitely the St. Patrick's Day kit from Sweet Kawine is green and green green, and it's awesome. The washi is, the washi strips are so cool. They're like this ombre green. Um, and that to me is more, you know, St. Patrick's Day green, that very green green, <laughs> that kind of Kelly green. I really like the pastels in this because I feel like it's very springish. I feel like it goes um, really well all month. And yes, it's horseshoes and rainbows and, you know, symbols that we associate with St. Patrick's Day, but it's not over the top. Had to get my cutters here so that I can trim. These washi strips are just a tad long for the page. Sorry, not for the page. It fits on the page, but for the columns and I like it to be lined up. So I just trim it and then I don't have to worry about it. I line it up on one side, trim it on the other, and then we are good to go. Ooh, but I need to press that in a little bit so that I'm not cutting onto kind of nothing there. Still didn't give me a lot of support, but okay. There we go. All right. I'm really liking that little pop of rainbow. I'll probably put another pop of it up there. I don't have a super busy week this week. Um, I don't know, Thursday and Friday seem to have the most stuff, but it's sort of random stuff. So, um, that's, I don't think a really big deal. I think that that, I don't know, the week doesn't feel as busy, I guess, as some weeks have felt. My husband definitely has a busy week. He works for a theater company and they're loading in a big show this week. So he's at work right now. He was at work last night until about midnight and then he'll be at work today. He left a few hours ago. He'll be at work until the evening again um but then hopefully it will kind of chill out once the show opens on friday uh they're doing les mis which huge show and in, involves the revolve if i had knew nothing about theater before um my husband other than i enjoyed you know theater but um so the revolve is a revolve on the stage that makes, you know, the performers can perform on and then they spin around. Why can I not find these other numbers? Let's see. There they are. And so it's a, it's a lot of work to put that in. It looks really cool. I always love the shows with the revolve, but it's just a lot of work to do it, um, to get that into the theater from the rehearsal hall and stuff like that. So he is busy this week with um, helping to tech the show. 
and fixing things, you know, if there's any problems or things like that. So it'll definitely be a busy week for him, but in terms of stuff going on for us, I mean, the biggest deal for sure is uh, my son's birthday is on Thursday. So that is exciting. He is turning 11. So um, he said he didn't want to party, which is fine by me. Um, and his birthday list has one thing on it. Um, he said the other day that he wished his birthday was more in the middle of the year. We celebrate Christmas in our house. And so he feels like he kind of got stuff he wanted for Christmas and he's having a hard time coming up with other stuff that he wants, you know, when grandparents and other people are like, Oh, what does he want for Christmas or what does he want for his birthday? And we're kind of drawing a blank. So, um, we shall see. He's like, well, mom, maybe you can figure out stuff that I want. Of course. Yes. Let me figure out what your 11 year old brain would like. So I actually have to get on that. Only have a couple things ready and, um, definitely want to have stuff for him to open on his birthday. And it, I don't know, it always seems to sneak up. You know how sometimes you have those birthdays that just seem to sneak up on you. You know, they're coming, you know, you know, the days are going by, you know, it's going to show up, but it still seems like it came really fast. And I don't know if that's because his birthday is at the beginning of a month. So I kind of feel like, oh, it's February. His birthday is, birthday is until March. And then all of a sudden, you know, February is super short and then it's March. I don't know. But there you have it. Okay, so I've got my date covers on. Let's see. I want to see what it looks like to have another little strip of this cute rainbow washi underneath the dates. I think that it'll look really cute. I start it there. I'll just line it up here under the dates. Yep, I like how that looks. Bringing in the rainbows. It is supposed to get cooler here later this week, which will be nice. Today is gorgeous. I think it's supposed to be, I don't know, 67 tomorrow or something, and then 70 on Tuesday, which means it'll actually be probably closer to 80 on Tuesday. I don't know why it seems like the weather forecast is always a lot cooler than it ends up being. So that's cool. You know, it's lovely to have nice weather because I know some people it's really, really cold. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm not ready for the coolness to be over, I guess. And so I'm looking forward to the chance of rain, I guess, on Thursday, which would be really nice because uh, we're in Northern California and we definitely need rain. We um, have not had a lot of rain since we had a couple bigger storms. We had one really big storm in October and then you know, a tiny bit of rain since then, but it, it feels like we've been very dry, which is not good. We have a creek um, in our backyard, not actually like in our backyard, you, you would go out a little gate and then the creek is down below um, and it's not very full. It is pretty dry. All right, um, you know, seeing that, I usually, I love to put these headers. I didn't put the headers behind on these because they already had them. But when I did this, I noticed that it was a lot shorter than the other header. So I think what I'm going to do is line that up like so. It's a little bit tricky because you got to make sure you're lined up in the column too. Um, there we go. I think that that's better so that we all have the same height ish along the top here. And I chose that color because that follows the pattern. Alrighty, so now I can put these sheets to the side. I don't need the date covers anymore. I don't need the washi strips anymore. But I can kind of pull some of them out so that I know I don't need to look through them for sheets that I need. That is helpful. Okay, now as you can see, I've got three things, three things, three things, five things, four things, three things, one thing. And granted, you know, 
if possible, I like to leave space for other stuff because, you know, other stuff could come up. Um, but, you know, usually, usually not that much stuff comes up. Ooh, but I just actually, I remembered something else. On Mondays, my daughter does writing at her friend's house. They're working on a book, FYI. I do like to put in my weekly planner plans for picking up the kids just so that I keep it straight. My kids can also then look at the planner if they um, aren't sure of the plan. Although generally I'm totally the mom who's every day before they go to school. Okay, so the plan for pickup. And that's probably just because I've had enough times at school as a teacher where kids get really panicky because they don't know the plan for after school. Maybe it's different or maybe they're just used to being told a plan and then they don't know the plan and then they get worried about um what they're supposed to do and they that can be really tough okay so i kind of have to decide now what full boxes i want to use um i love this double box so i'm trying to decide if i want to use the double box the thing is i love to color block right so this double box very clearly goes with this color so i could put that i guess across those two days or i guess i could do it across these two days. Uh, I don't know. I think it would look better across those two days than on there, but I have so much on Thursday and Friday that I don't know. I don't know which to do, but I think I do want it. I want to decide where it's going to go so that I can decide because I like to stagger my full boxes. So I do want the double box up here. Um... I just think that'll look nice. And I also really like having on the double box days, I like to use this little washi. I think it looks really cute to kind of just separate out that full box from the top. Even though it's really not needed, I guess. Um, and then we will definitely be using up a ton of space on these two days because there's so much going on but the great thing is is that it's the monthly kit and so I have extra quarter boxes and stuff like that that I can use hmm I don't know if I like that washi there and there maybe I want this below let's see what that looks like all right as I kind of rearrange this I think I'm going to speed it up and get all of my full boxes and stuff like that on and get that stuff set I'm not sure if I can do the talking and doing that at the same time. I'll probably just keep messing up. got the bones down in this planner I always almost always with my weekly planner because this is what comes in a, a normal weekly kit from sweet kawaii design the full boxes and then the half boxes and then the quarter boxes now obviously like I said this is the monthly sub so there's a lot more of everything because it's for the whole month rather than just a weekly kit but I always almost always use these exact same stickers when I use any kind of kit I follow a pattern and then I fill in with more deco depending on the types of things and how much I have that day. Now, because it's a monthly kit, I probably will do use some more quarter boxes or half boxes on the days where I have a ton and then maybe use some more deco than I normally would because it is that monthly kit. I also have some deco that I can use. I've got some um, St. Patrick's Day stuff that was from last year and I've got rainbows and the large St. Patty's Day deco. I could even maybe use some spring stuff, probably not Easter, but um, so we'll just kind of see what I need to fill in with as I go. 
Um, looking here, I can put a weekend banner. I just have to decide. I think I'll probably use the yellow. I don't know if I like the yellow or if I like the orange. Oh, I actually like the orange better. I guess that's orange. What, maybe coral? Kind of a corally orange, I guess. Or a reddy orange. <laughs> I'm not really sure the technical term, but it definitely isn't, you know, traditional orange orange and then obviously I still have the sidebar still to do I'll use one of these stickers where I'll keep track of laundry I think I'll go ahead and put that in now I do like with these monthly kits then I have all the different colors to choose from that's always nice um hmm maybe I want to use a little oh there's so many fun things to use all this little pretend washi and the maybe I'll use one of these garlands Ooh, these ones are always tricky to place. So they look really cool, but as you can see, they're super thin. And then you try to get them down and they just kind of stick wherever it is they want. And it can be a challenge to get these centered and on correctly. Ooh, doorbell rang. I'm guessing that that was probably Amazon coming to deliver some chocolate bars that the kids really wanted that I ordered yesterday and then they came today, which is always crazy to me that it's like, oh, it arrives tomorrow. Um, but there are these M&M bars that are, I think just, you know, chocolate bars, like a Hershey chocolate bar, but with M&Ms in them and they absolutely love them. And Amazon Prime had them actually cheaper than getting them at the grocery store. So I'm guessing that's probably what the ring at the doorbell was. Okay, um, let's see. I've got that. I don't know what I'll put down there. I did a couple trackers last week, and then I didn't really, I don't know. I kind of failed. Maybe I'll do one with the bike. It's a little bit of motivation. Like, oh, I got to check it off. We'll see. Okay, um, then let's see. I want to go ahead and add in some deco. So I'm going to do that now and see what I can kind of fill in. grab a little birthday sticker because it is my son's birthday so then I have to decide because I wanted to use gosh because I have one two three four five things I mean I guess I could not use this although I sort of like it there if I cover it up partially like that maybe oh I don't know I don't know if I like that or if I don't like that if I want to just use a couple other boxes because I have five different things that I want to put here on this hmm I think maybe I will maybe I'll use this checklist over on Friday instead I really like it though here because it it matches the color really well but then again by putting it here I'm bringing kind of all this since I couldn't quite color block with that so maybe I can put this party time up here with little Bo the bunny which is great since we have Simon the rabbit um, and then maybe uh, let's see if I have a half box here just to kind of break it up and not use a whole bunch of quarter boxes and then maybe a quarter box I think would do well. Ooh, if I can squish it. Ooh, this is gonna be a tight fit. Okay, well, I managed to cut out a whole portion of that. I added in a birthday sticker. I thought I'd pressed play on the camera, but or on my phone, but apparently I didn't because I looked up and the camera was dark. The whole phone was dark. So anyway, I kind of rearranged this a little bit so I could fit in a whole bunch of stuff here on Thursday. And then, moved this up just a touch so that I could fit it in and then I think here I'm going to try to put this little garland Ooh, these are so tricky but they're so cute I kind of like that overhanging the little quarter box there all right so almost finished with this um looking at the weekend is not super busy 
yet. Sometimes, you know, things will come up and it will get busier. Um, so I'm not really sure kind of how that's going to go yet. But we'll put some bigger deco. The great thing, what I always love, whoops, I've already got this out somewhere. I've lost my page here. Is that these stickers, you know, the repositional asp aspect of them is so fantastic for me. Hmm. <laughs> Where there, there it is. Should have known, it's got a different color top. So let's see. I mean, obviously this definitely is leaning quite St. Patrick's Day-ish. I'm okay with that though, because... I love St. Patrick's Day. Um, maybe we'll put Frank here with his little clover. That looks cute there. And then I think I really want to use some of this washi somewhere, but oh, I don't have an orange one. That would have been perfect right there. Um, what do I, well, I have this orange one, but that's too long. And so that's not going to work. You know, I was thinking too, these would be really cute. You could cut them down and use them as kind of like headers. That would be cute. Oh, I've got this, all this cute deco. Oh my gosh, there's so much cute stuff in this kit. Hmm, maybe some cute coins. That sort of go up into the half box. No, I don't think I like that. It would maybe go better with this large deco or something instead. Let's see, what could I put there? I'm not sure. That's tricky. Maybe I will just put a header, just a plain one. And then I can put just a really cute little deco sticker. I like to sometimes put these headers down and then put one of the deco stickers over it not deco icon oh my goodness okay maybe I'll do like this little this cute little candle I like that little candle and it's the perfect color all right the last thing I have to do here is my little sidebar and I am just like a mess with all these pages they are just all over the place I am not doing a good job of keeping track where everything is. Gosh. There we go. Of course, it's the last one that I look for. All right, so I think I'm going to put one of these little trackers. And then I'll grab one of the little bikes. And I will just mark off when I do my rides for the week. Hopefully, it will be more than I did the week before break. I'll put this cute washi right there and then go grab a bike. Alrighty. Back with a bike. Put that right there. Maybe I'll move this washi down a little bit. Oh, that looks a little bit crooked. Okay. I think I am set for the week. Kind of check it out. I usually fill this in late on Sunday night to kind of prepare myself for the week so that I kind of have it all right in my head come Monday morning. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Happy planning, everybody. See you next time.